what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel once again new spot new truck new super duty problem this customer reached out to us this is a 2013 f2 i screwed that up f350 with my favorite the non-running b267 i don't ever run that crap customers complaining that he has a check engine light on but his turbo is kind of not working he's got turbo problems we're about to find out what this check engine light is on the floor and stay tuned because it may be what's wrong with your truck all right guys let's check it out All right, everybody, thanks so much for coming back and checking this out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe right below. Tonight, today, whatever time you're watching this, we have this Super Dude. He's got 131,000 miles on it. If you've been following the channel, we had to put a left front wheel bearing on this truck. Uh, no big deal. You guys saw, saw us do it uh, there on the ground. Uh, but the next concern that he has is this infamous yellow check engine light it's here it's on and we're going to find out what is going on with it because we need to figure a repair solution for this gentleman so let me go ahead and situate this com computer right here let me get let me get some more screenage let's get some more lightage and some more zoomage and we're going to go for a road test all right fully identified let's go ahead and run our run our, our, bleh, our self test we're gonna do engine continuous let's see what kind of codes we have just in continuous memory let's get the the freaking let's get my safety hook on safety hook hooked all right running tests here's the codes what do we got what do we got oof turbo boost low 132b engine air filter restriction hmm. and a nox heater sense bank one sensor one interesting interesting now you guys remember me talking about the uh 132b that uh, specifically pertains to a bad turbocharger but it's kind of weird that we have this engine air filter restriction now could that be causing a problem absolutely uh that's one of the inspections we're gonna have to to make uh but let's see overall drivability how this thing is running um that's gonna be the that's gonna be the telltale sign uh, but while we're doing that let's go ahead and clear these codes let's see which ones if any come back cancel okay codes are clearing all right we got no codes is now off now we're gonna be watching the drivability and see if any of these codes uh, come back. 132B is gonna set on a key cycle, but nonetheless, we're gonna need to figure out and watch boost. Uh, typically, uh, it is a turbo, but one of the other things we're gonna check is, uh, if you remember that 14 uh, F550 we were looking at, uh, the map sensor uh, is a big eye, is a big, um, uh, uh, input to the PCM on uh, the amount of pressure, the amount of, of crap that's in the intake, but we can only force so much in there. So sometimes that sensor can get all coked up, all carboned up. Um, like you had saw, we were going to clean all that out. We're going to check this one and see if in fact we have that going on. But from my previous repair histories and experience 132b um, will come back however i've had one of two things happen uh 132b there is an updated calibration available which we will check oh, well, there goes uh, an ambulance on the hook a meat wagon on the hook uh, update calibration for the pcm so that could be uh, one of the first things we're going to do uh, because the strategy is going to change uh, in the PCM for that. So before we go ahead and put a turbo on, let's let's see preemptively. 
if this vehicle has an updated calibration available. We're gonna do this live. We'll see what we got. If we got hooked to the internet, module reprogramming. Let's see if the PCM says there's one available. That would be cool. Please wait. PCM, TCM, Knox One, and GPCM. Okay, okay. We're definitely gonna be doing some updates. Let's go ahead and run this vehicle through Oasis. This is the database that we use at the dealer and this allows us to access everything about the VIN, all of technical service bulletins and so forth. All right, let's go to TSBs. All right, we're gonna go to that specific DTC. Where you at, where are you at? Okay, 132B right here. Okay, what's it say? Uh, first off, let's check the build date. Build date, where are we? Build date, 6 25 of 2013. You see that? 625 June 25th of 2013. Okay, so we have a TSB here. Let's go this one right here. So we're 625 of 13. Let's see. Uh, some 11 through 14 Super Duties equipped with a 67 built on or before 11 6 2013. No way. So we do fall on this category. It may exhibit very drivability concerns. Uh, mal and the malfunction indicator lamp might be on, and you might have these codes 2201, 207F. Well, let's see what that other code is that we got. We had 2209. Okay, let's go back and see. Is 2209 in here? 2209? Do I see 2209? I don't see 2209. I see 2201. 2209 I do not see so we may actually have a fault with the heater circuit that's actually in the knock sensor it was uh just like the o2 sensor I was explaining to you how it's got like that heater when the heater fault goes you get that p0151 uh, or p0141 uh, those are our heater circuit codes specific to that oxygen sensor well same kind of thing when we have this code here 2209 it's saying that there's something resistance wise that the PCM's not liking on that actual heater sense circuit so uh furthermore i think what we're gonna do uh is reprogram this pcm we're gonna clear codes well we already did we'll reset cam and get this thing rocking and rolling i don't feel right now as we're gonna drive in the truck that we actually have a turbo problem it seems to be boosting all right so there may be just a calibration issue but this code also for the air filter we're gonna look at the air filter, see what it looks like, look at the restriction gauge and replace accordingly. But for right now, I think the course of action, we're gonna tell this customer, we're gonna reprogram his PCM, the GPCM, the Knox One module, the TCM, and then uh, we're gonna give it back to him, retest. And I believe that uh, he'll be he'll be okay. It's the trucks that that have the uh, 6.0 turbo flutter, the go 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 are the ones that either have a stuck turbo, uh, you, you want me to do the, huh, go, 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 uh, are the ones that have the problems uh, with with uh, the 132B returning. So uh, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Um, there's not really need to show you anything with that. I'm gonna re reprogram the PCM. Just talking to the customer. Uh, if this is something that has happened to you with 132B, make a visit. Come see me in Detroit. I have a couple of satellite offices that we are able to work out of. We're going to be in Detroit. We're going to be in Philly. We're going to be in South Carolina, North Carolina, and the midsection of Florida. So if you guys want to reach out, if you're in that part of the uh, eastern U.S. or want to travel to the eastern U.S. and get uh, your truck worked on, or at least maybe get uh, a video on uh, your truck on the channel, uh, reach out to the email and we will get you scheduled in. Tell me what you think about this video. If this helped you out, your 132B code may be just a reprogram. Let me know what you guys think. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See ya!